Hello! And welcome to Mystery Box Day number 12. You'll note we've skipped a day, controversial decision, but it is Christmas Eve and we thought, well, that's the right day for the 12th. I agree. I think I'm going to open this one. Okay, yeah, go ahead. What have we got in box number 12? It's a big box. Same one. Ooh, ooh. Mostly wire. And... I don't think that is wire. Oh, I don't <gasps> know what that is. LED strip. Yeah, that's an RGB LED strip, I think. RGB? Ooh, yeah, 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 addressable one. <laughs> I Are you excited? I'm very excited and also I'm craving this before this video even starts. Scissors. Mm -hmm. And it comes already pre-wired and ready to hook up directly, I guess. Ooh, and it's in that really fancy... Waterproof strip, I suppose. I guess I could share this with Phoebe, given I have reels of this in my cupboard. You have cupboard. so many, so much of this. I do have reels of it. We are on day, day 12. 12. And what's this going to be? RGB, RGB LED, LED strip. Nice. <laughs> Yay. So these are addressable. What that means is you can tell each individual LED to be on or off or a different colour. Yes. Today's project is a big one. These are addressable, the WS2812s, and you could even kind of take the end off here and uh, get it to address even more. And I've also got some WS2812 panels in the cupboard, so the code we write for this could work for those. Our robotics code. So we're gonna disconnect everything again. The red wire here. Oh my God, they made Christmas colors. It's ah, red. red, black, and green. Red wire goes to what will actually be the bus, which is the uh, bus power. Mm -hmm. And then the black wire goes to a ground. Tensiometer. I'm guessing mm -hmm. this is on and off. Mm -hmm. This is controlling the color. Oh. Color, brightness, oh, speed of which it's going to go and do its animation. Oh, <gasps> blinky animation. There we go. So now we've got our two controls. There we, we go. Did you say that Christmas was chaos and that's why we love it? Christmas is chaos and we love it. Absolutely. Right, minimal starter, one LED. Time to twinkle. Let's turn one on. Yeah. Have we got Thonny open? We have got Thonny open. We're not talking about Johnny. Right. Day 12. One LED. Well, that would be five. Five LEDs. We have an LED. Yay. Okay. I'm making that purple. Yay. It's purple. purple. Okay. What have we got next? Multiple LEDs. Notice here, right? We set um, a value in the strip and then we do strip.write to actually write the data. So we set up values in an array right. and we write the contents of the array to Later. the strip. And they've made these all red. I mean, making them crisp, make them Christmas lights. Yeah. Two five drive there. Yeah. No, no, that one stays. Oh, oh well, you can do that, which is no longer Christmas lights, but okay. Well, it's colourful, so we'll save it and we'll do day twelve rainbow dot pi. There we go. Oh, we have a rainbow. Well, it's kind of out of order, but it doesn't matter because it looks lovely. I'm gonna yeah. fix that. <laughs> I have a I have a plan for that. Mm. Okay, a better method. They're using um, uh, for something in range. Yeah. Here. So they're going to loop over and make all fifteen LEDs yellow. Oh, you know what I could do? Yeah. There we go. They're all yellow. Wonderful. I need to make them a better colour. Purple. Beautiful. Okay, what's next? What's next? Literally An most... Even method, better method, super simple, strip dot oh. fill with turquoise, okay. How do you memorise these colours? Uh, there are places on the internet where you can either look up colour names and they give you these swatches, or you can go and mix them in your favourite paint programme. Oh. Day 12, fill dot pie. Not gonna lie, everything I own is purple right now. There we go, we have turquoise. Yeah, it is. It's always eye-searingly bright, but that's what LED is, part of the fun with LEDs. Oh, right? well, we're going to be blinded after this recording. Better colour, colour management. 
Okay, colour vary walls. Where's purple? Day 12, even better. Then we can just change this value to like green or something. Yeah, and then hit play and then bosh, exactly. Okay, brilliant. Cool. I'm gonna pause that before I. I'm gonna do a light chaser. Oh. And that's got red, green, and blue. Let's have a look. RGB. Day 12 chaser.py. Oh. What do we have next? That's pretty cool. Ice train. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for the next Speed five hours. Speed controlled light say, tracer. I'm guessing we're using the potentiometer for that. In theory. So you're changing the speed of that. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. insane speed. Slow. It looks like a worm. Button color control, okay. If the button's pressed, what, what's it going to do? Let's just run it and press the button. I mean, press the button. Press the button. Day 12, button. Right. Oh, sets it to green. You are a child. When you see buttons, you get very excited. Okay, so you kind of got to hold it, possibly for when it reaches it next to the loop. Fading. Day 12. Day dot pie. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Day 12 is complete. Nah, However, we ain't complete. I promised Phoebe something. You so, did? I did. So look, if we do micro python <gasps> and Colours. color. Now, where is it? There is a Python library, ColorSys. That's it. So, see if we can import ColorSys. Oh. So H is hue, and it means from a number to 0255, you index the colors in rainbow order automatically, and you fade oh, between yeah. them. Oh, yeah. But look, colorsys.py here, and it doesn't have too many imports. What if I paste that in here, okay. HSV to RGB. So we're gonna save this to the Pico as colorsys.py. Paste. Okay, so what we can do is we can import colorsys. We will say something like hue equals 255 divided by 15 times i. No idea. This will get us a hue value between 0 and 255. Okay, now, see. then we can say RGB equals color sys dot HSV to RGB. HSV to RGB. Okay, so they're actually using values from 0 to 1, so we have to multiply it out. We don't make it an integer, we make it this. I divided by 15. We do hue, and we do make saturation and, and value. We're going to make them 0.8, so it's not eye searing. So day 12, More HSV in. rainbow. Can't convert float to int. C times 255 for C in. We're going to convert that with a cheeky list comprehension, and we'll int it there. And then I can just do RGB. Oh. And we have a proper rainbow. And then, Can we use the potentiometer to make it well, move? Right, we'll do this. So we'll do while true, shift equals zero, shift plus equal one divided by 255. And we'll indent this. We'll do a time dot sleep 0 0.1. I'll put the ADC back in after that. Q equals I15 plus shift while Q is above one, Q minus equal one, just so that it kind of keeps it in the one range so it will wrap around above, above the one level. Should. Mm. Oh, strip dot right. Ha! They did warn us about this. They did? Yes, we have to put strip dot right in there. Oh, oh it does work. Yep. And now we have shifting rainbows. Yes. Okay, and you have one more request in this. Yes. RGB right. with this. We don't so. control the speed, we control where the colour is. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Then let me just stop the code. If I pick up day 12 speed chaser, help for the DC code. Oh, okay. Set it up so the potentiometer's on here. And the potentiometer, kind of read that. Shift 
by equals Pinterest and Marie, and it's 16, so 65535. Five. Instead of multiplying it shift plus equals this, we'll say plus shift by. And it's still got to wrap around, so if we move this. Yes, that's you play. <laughs> We now have a movable adjustable rainbow. This is like beautiful to me. <laughs> Anything with rainbows and a button that I can control or press or move or turn or anything that I can use to trigger rainbows is amazing. Deploy rainbows! <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. As much as we have. And <laughs> I think. We hope that you've enjoyed actually watching us do this advent because, you know, this was amazing. We've had lots of fun. I think this code and some of the other better code bits and uh, requesting the videos if you want them, comment below. We'll get some of these onto GitHub so yeah. other people can pick them up and have a play with them. Yeah. Uh, you and your family, I hope you do have a Merry Christmas. Yep. Yeah. Have a very Merry Christmas and we'll catch you sometime soon. Go make stuff and be awesome. Bye. Bye. Bye well fitted uh male cable head and head, 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 head fair enough i have let you do all the wiring chores so far yeah yeah you probably need supervision too <laughs> well i don't know i'm fine with that glasses thanks 2020 vision as opposed to supervision but um yeah, funny okay right. <laughs>